Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Cup. Today, we're grilling some white asparagus, and we're going to serve that up with a brown butter hollandaise, some crispy, crunchy pancetta, um, and a bit of tarragon just to decorate. But that's our dish. Before we look at all the ingredients we have on the board, as always, if you're not supporting the channel yet, please do so by hitting the subscribe button and checking the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode is out. But now let's have a look at the board. Beautiful white asparagus in season now. As I said, the tarragon just to decorate with. Some salt and pepper. We have butter. We have a lot of it, about 300 grams. Two egg yolks, a bit of lemon, a bit of vinegar and our pancetta. I have three slices at about half a centimeter. But um, let's start prepping. We need to prep the asparagus and we need to prep the pancetta. And while we prep that, we'll put the butter on the stove so that we get brown butter. I'll see you in a bit. So with our pancetta, we're just gonna cube it in a kind of similar thickness as the slices. I'll just show you a couple because it's boring to watch, but just like this. So cube up all of your pancetta. So there we are, all our pancetta done. Put it on a separate plate. And um, our butter is melting away. I'll show you. This is how far we are now. But we want brown butter, so it needs longer. But that gives us time to prep for the asparagus. Now, I always think the easiest way to peel asparagus is just to leave them on the board like this and then turn it. So if you go ahead and peel all of your asparagus and we'll see each other in a bit. But what I forgot to say, you also need to put your grill on. I'm not showing that, but I have this small grill that, and we'll see when we grill this afterwards, but get your coal going. And now we just need to slice these in half. Right down the middle. And two should be enough for, for one person as a starter. But now the rest of everything we're doing today takes place there, except for the plating and the tasting. So let's move over there and start with the uh, pancetta. So we have a frying pan on, no fat in the pan. Pancetta is fat enough. And now we're just basically gonna render and make these crunchy. So we are almost there. You can see they're almost just crunchy bits, but a little bit longer and then we're ready. So that's it now. We just have crunchy bits left. We're gonna take these and keep them warm and on to the hollandaise. So we have our eggs in. We'll go in with about two teaspoons of vinegar. And a squeeze of lemon juice, maybe half a teaspoon. with a pinch of salt. And now I'll put our butter up here. You see the pot a little bit. And we just add from it. A little by little at the beginning, then we can add a bit more later on. And I have this on medium heat. And we just keep adding and whisking until we have a nice consistency. So I won't film the whole process, but I'll see you once it's thick. And we can see if we need some more salt, we'll add a bit of pepper, maybe a bit of acidity, a bit more lemon juice maybe. I'm happy with the consistency. Let's see if we have enough salt in here and acidity. Mm. Acidity, yes. I'm missing a bit of salt. 
get some pepper in there too. I enjoy pepper and I all of this. I will add a little bit of cold water. It's a little bit on the thick side. And now let's move on to, we keep this warm and then we move on to our asparagus. So asparagus goes on. I put a little bit of oil on them, just to any neutral oil. And before we turn them, I just have a bit of oil on my fingers. It's hot, but it's the quickest way. I'll just put some oil on there. Now we can turn them. We're gonna need to turn them back and forwards a little bit, so. I don't know if you can see, but it's like losing its rigidity. Rigidity? It's stiffness. Give these a bit of a turn again. There's a bit more heat on this part, so we'll turn them over and we'll turn them with the heads the other way. So these are almost done. Give them another half a minute on this side and then we'll put them away and we'll plate up. So we have our asparagus already on the plate. We have our um, pancetta croutons. We have our tarragon. But before we get the hollandaise, the brown butter hollandaise from the stove, if you stuck with it this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about the episode. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, takes you a second, but it's so valuable to me that you do that. So thank you in advance. And now let's serve this up. So we get some of our brown butter hollandaise over the middle. Can never have, em have enough. Take some from the edge there, clean it up. And now our pancetta croutons. And last but not least, a couple of tarragon leaves. Now, a chef friend always told me never serve equal numbers, so there should have been a fifth. But it is what it is, and there's only four. I think it looks beautiful. I'll just give it a try. Let's get in here. Get a bit of everything. This is so nice. Has a nice crunch from the pancetta and nice saltiness. Nice nuttiness from the brown butter. Mm. And no bitterness at all in these ones. So sometimes white asparagus can have some bitterness, but we're lucky with these ones. Mm. To me, a perfect spring dish. I think the pancetta really adds something nice to it too. So does the tarragon. It becomes kind of a benesi taste to it. Mm. A fantastic spring dish. Your guests will be happy. That's it for today though. But before you go, don't forget, leave a comment. If you have a question, or let me know what you thought of the episode. And if you're not subscribing yet, hit the subscribe and check the bell icon. Now that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.